hi learner. Once again, we are here with Form 2 Mathematics. And we are going to look at how to find area of regular polygons. Area of regular polygons. What do we mean by regular? Regular means all the sides of this polygon are equal. All the sides of the polygon are equal. And therefore, if they are equal, all the angles are also equal. All the angles are equal. All the angles are equal. So when we talk about a regular polygon, all its sides are equal and all its angles are equal. So let us look at an example here. Number one, find the area of a regular pentagon of side 5 centimeters. A pentagon has how many sides? Five. It's five-sided. So it's this figure here. One, two, three, four, five. And every side is five centimeters. So how do you find the area of this regular pentagon? So what you do is that you come and introduce a center here. You introduce a center, and then using the center, you form some triangles. You form some triangles, like that. Like that. There we are. This is the center of our polygon. These ones, we call them ready. All these are ready, so they are equal. Ready of a regular polygon. Then you ask yourself, what is the size of each triangle uh, angle here? What is the size of each angle here? To get the angle here, you talk of how many angles do you have? And by the way, remember, these triangles are equal. All these five triangles are equal. So how do you find this angle here? How do you find it? So you ask yourself, angles at a point add up to 360. So these five angles, one, two, three, four, five, they add up to 360 degrees. 360 degrees. So what is the size of each angle? So size of the angle size of the angle size of the angle will be equal to what? 360 degrees divided by 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divided by 5 and therefore 360 divided by 5 gives you 72 degrees so this angle here is 72 degrees each of these angles here is 72 degrees. So pick one of the angles. Uh, sorry, pick one of the triangles. Pick one of the triangles. Like this one. Suppose you consider this. This angle here is 72 degrees. This is a radius. And this is also a radius. And this is 5 centimeters. 5 centimeters. So, how do we find this radius? How can we find this radius? So, if you look at our triangle here, this is an isosceles triangle. So, drop a perpendicular. Drop a perpendicular like that. So that our triangle now is divided into uh, the base of a triangle is divided into what? 2.5, 2.55 divided by 2. So here you'll have 2.5 centimeters and here you'll have 2.5 centimeters. This is our radius. This is still our radius. This angle here is divided into two equal parts by this perpendicular. So 72 divided by 2, this will be 36 degrees and also this will be 36 degrees. 
yes, and this angle here should be uh, in dimension mid, the base perpendicular. So how do you find R? You use one of these triangles. Suppose we use this one. This angle here is 36, this one. And the side opposite the angle is 2.5. And you want the radius here, which looks like a hypotenuse. So here, you use uh, trigonometric ratios. Trigonometric ratios. You are given this angle is 36, its opposite is 2.5, and you want the radius, which is a hypotenuse. So in this case, you use sine. Sine. So you talk of sine 36, sine 36 is equal to opposite, which is 2.5, divided by hypotenuse, divided by hypotenuse, which is R, which is R. So how do you find your R? Cross multiply, cross multiply. So you talk of R sine 36 degrees is equals to 2.5. 2.5, yes. So to get R now, Lana, you remove this one. How do you remove sine 36? You divide with it on both the sides. Look at that. Divide by sine 36 degrees. Yes. This will cancel out with that, and therefore, what will be your R? You use a calculator, so your R will be 4.25 centimeters. Good. So, your R here is 4.25 centimeters, and this other side is also 2.25. I mean 4.25 centimeters. So what is the area of our triangle then? What is the area of our triangle? Maybe I can put the 4.25 here, 4.25 there, 4.25 there, our ready. And therefore, what is the area of this triangle? So area of one triangle, area of one triangle will be equal to what? A half a b sin theta. A half a b sin theta. Because this is an included angle. So it is a half times 4.25 times 4.25 sine of what? Sine of 72 degrees. Sine of 72 degrees. Lana, you work out that using a calculator and you will get that the area of one triangle is that. Area of one triangle is 8.59 centimeters square. Therefore, Lana, what is the area of our pentagon here? What is the area of our pentagon? Our pentagon is made up of five equal triangles, five equal triangles. So, what is the area of the pentagon? So, the area of the pentagon is equal to area of one triangle, which is 8.59 centimeters square times five triangles. You work out this, you work out that, you get that here, you get 42. So the area of our pentagon is 42.95 centimeters squared. Yes.